the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit my dear sisters and brothers jesus said if you want to follow me take up your cross and come after me take up the cross of life the sufferings the problem the struggles of life and go after jesus and that path will lead us to calvary but surely to the glory of the resurrection every suffering pain struggle we receive from the hands of the lord will lead us to victory and glory a great truth the lord is revealing to us today but when sufferings came our way we blamed others we blamed ourselves and felt guilty hatred and revenge filled our hearts but the lord is revealing to us the mystery of suffering suffering taken from the hands of the lord will lead us to glory let us take this teaching of the lord into our hearts and ask pardon for all the sufferings wasted in the past asking god the grace to understand the mystery of the cross let us confess together i confess to almighty, almighty god, god and, and to you, you my brothers and, brothers and sisters, sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore i ask blessed mary ever virgin all the angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god of mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen Glory to God in the highest and, and on, on earth, earth peace, peace to people, people of good will. 
we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy, grant that we may serve you with all our heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. I gave my back to the smiters. A reading from the book of Isaiah. The Lord God has opened my ear. And I was not rebellious. I turned not backward. I gave my back to the smiters. And my cheeks to those who pulled out the beard. I hid not my face from shame and spitting. For the Lord God helps me, therefore I have not been confounded. Therefore I have set my face like a flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who is my adversary? Let him come near to me. Behold, the Lord God helps me, who will declare my guilty. The word of God. Thanks be to God. Your response. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. I will walk in the presence of the Lord.
faith by itself if it has no works is dead a reading from the letter of st james what does it profit my brethren if a man says he has faith but has not works can his faith save him if a brother or sister is ill clad and in lack of daily food and one of you says to them go in peace be warmed and filled without giving them the things needed for the body what does it profit so faith by yourself if it has no works is dead but someone will say you have faith and i have works show me your faith apart from your works and i by my works will show you my faith the word of god thanks be to god which came down from heaven says the lord if anyone eats of this bread he will live forever The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. Chapter 8 verses 27 to 35. Now Jesus and his disciples set out for the villages of Caesarea Philippi. Along the way he asked his disciples who do people say that i am they said in reply john the baptist others elijah and still others one of the prophets and he asked them but who do you say that i am peter said to him in reply you are the messiah Then he warned them not to tell anyone about him. He began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests and the scribes, and be killed. Rise again after three days. He spoke this openly. Then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. At this he turned around and looking at his disciples rebuked Peter and said 
get behind me satan you are thinking not as god does but as human beings do he summoned the crowd with his disciples and said to them whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself take up his cross and follow me for whoever wishes to save his life will lose it but whoever loses his life for my sake and that of the gospel will save it the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear sisters and brothers an angry young man came to meet me in fact he had not wanted to come his friends compelled him and brought him to me and he said to me in a very arrogant mood i do not believe in the god that you speak of when i heard him saying this i remembered i had seen this young man before he was a famous player football player of the state part of the state football team and while playing he fell and he broke his knee joints and the doctors told him he would not be able to run anymore he was shattered and his friends brought him for a retreat and he shared with me all his terrible feelings my life is football if i cannot play it i don't want to live anymore i told him my friend the lord is merciful let's trust in him i prayed for him i invited him to join a retreat he joined the retreat in the retreat he was miraculously healed during a eucharistic adoration and he got up where he was sitting because he could not kneel and he came running to the stage and said jesus is the lord jesus healed me he's a god of love he proclaimed it and before leaving the retreat i prayed for him now now this man it's become totally different i told him my friend you experienced the love of god powerfully the lord healing you and he proclaimed that jesus is the lord a god of love how come now you deny him he said this god is not consistent and he told me his problem he was in love with a girl and they had decided to marry for some reason the girl rejected him and when they heard and married one of his friends in the same football team he was angry he was shattered he did not want to live i spoke to him at length i told him 
God has shown his compassion to you and gave you a new life. It is the same God, even now, working in your life. And I invited him once again for a retreat. And he was given the revelation that this girl was not meant for him. Again, he accepted Jesus as the Lord. You know, my dear sisters and brothers, when we pray, and all the time our prayer is, Lord, hear our prayer. And when the Lord hears our prayer, we are happy. And we praise Him. But then, when the Lord does not answer our prayer, we turn against the Lord. The gospel today is a very powerful message. Simon Peter. It was a blessed moment in the life of Simon Peter. <clears throat> Simon Peter never forgot that moment. And Jesus said, Simon, you're blessed because my heavenly father has revealed this to you. Context was the question, who do people say that I am? People say many things. You are a prophet, like John the Baptist, like Jeremiah. He was not interested in any of the public opinion. God does not go by public opinion and media coverage. A very direct question. Who do you say that I am? Who am I to you? It was Simon Peter who spoke up. You are the Messiah. You are the Lord. You are the Savior. You are the hope of humankind. And Jesus praised him. Blessed are you. It's the Heavenly Father who revealed this to you. But then came the fullness of that revelation. What does it mean that Jesus is the Messiah? That Jesus is the Lord? And Jesus revealed the mystery of discipleship. Discipleship means taking the cross and following Jesus. Jesus said, I will be rejected, condemned and crucified, but will be raised. Peter could not understand, the, oh no, that did not happen to you. And Jesus said, earlier you were with the Father. The Father could reveal to you who I am. Now you are with Satan. Get behind me, Satan. Often, my dear sisters and brothers, the moments of suffering, the moments of rejection, moments of pain, lead us into the camp of Satan. And then Jesus said, if you want to follow me, there's only one way. Deny yourself. Deny your own plans for your future. Deny your desires for luxuries and pleasures. Deny everything that you want to happen to you and follow me. That's what discipleship is. That is what it means to accept Jesus as the Lord and Savior. Simon Peter never forgot that blessed moment, that powerful teaching, who Jesus is. He's the Lord. And that means I trust him. I accept everything from his hands. 
not only what pleases me, but even what hurts me. I accept everything from the hands of my God. I take up my cross and follow Him. And that, in sight of Simon Peter, was anointed by the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost. And the first message of Simon Peter, after having received the Holy Spirit, was the mystery of suffering. Acts chapter two, verse thirty-six, to the people of Jerusalem. Three thousand of them gathered on the day of Pentecost. Peter said, "You crucified him, but God raised him up and made him the Lord and Savior." The suffering of Jesus, the cross of Jesus, leads us to salvation. He's the Lord. He's the Savior. And Peter, in his own life, he had to suffer much. He was the leader of the early church, and he was called in to the Sanhedrin. And the high priest asked him, "What are you preaching about? This Jesus, who is he?" And Peter proclaimed, "He is the Lord." He is the Savior. He is the one sent by the Father to save humankind, and He saved us through His cross. Well, the high priest could not understand that, could not accept it. He was angry. He commanded that Peter and John be scourged at the pillar. Scourging at the pillar. Was a terrible thing in those days. All the beating, being tied to the pillar. But Peter did not waver. Every beating Peter took from the hands of God, he realized what it means when Jesus said. Take up your cross and follow me. Every beating that he received, when his back was broken, wounded, and bleeding and hurting, Peter was praising God, praising God. Acts chapter five, verse thirty-one. We are told they came out. Rejoicing, they came out rejoicing. Can you believe that? They came out. Peter and John came out rejoicing for what? Not because people applauded them, not because they were honored. No, no, but because they were counted worthy. To be given a share in the cross of Jesus, they were counted worthy to be given a share in the cross of Jesus. You know, a great mystery is revealed. Peter and John were tied to the pillar and scourged. Every beating they took, a sharing. In the scourging of Jesus, in the cross of Jesus, there was there was a connectedness. They realized the connectedness with their pain, with the pain of Jesus. A great mystery, my dear friends. And later, when Peter wrote that epistle, Peter said, first letter of Peter. Chapter four, verse thirteen: Rejoice when sufferings come your way. Rejoice. Why rejoice? Because you are counted worthy. You are counted worthy to share 
in the cross of the Lord. When do we say, I'm counted worthy? I'm counted worthy for a award, yeah? Award. For a crown, for a great position, for an honor. That's what we are counted worthy. And Peter is saying, every suffering is a moment we are counted worthy. Why? We are counted worthy to share in the cross of Jesus. What more worth there is in this life? What more honor, what more privilege there is in this life than to be united with Jesus, to be one with Jesus. And that happens every moment we suffer. Our suffering is not a curse. Remember that young man? He experienced the love of Jesus. He accepted Jesus as the Lord. But when a rejection came to him, he could not take it. He could not deny himself, his own desire to marry her. And he rejected God. That is what happens often in our own lives. We are not able to accept sufferings, rejections, failures from the hands of God. But know this. When you succeed, when people applaud, when people appreciate, ah, ah, we are not sure whether we are united with Jesus. No. But one thing, when I am rejected, when people gossip against me, I lose my good name, when I fall sick and I'm confined to the bed, that time I'm sure I'm sharing in the cross of Jesus, I'm united with the Lord. I'm counted worthy. Suffering is not a humiliation. Suffering is not a rejection. Suffering is not a punishment. Suffering is an honor. Because we are disciples of the crucified Lord. Every time... I share in his crucifixion, in his cross, I know this cross will not break me. This cross will not shatter me. This cross will not destroy me. This is a path my Lord took. And that will culminate in the glory of the resurrection. Everything I suffer, I need to offer with the cross of Jesus so that the people I love, the people I care for, the people I'm responsible for, that they may be saved. The cross of Jesus was the cause of salvation. Our own sufferings added with the cross of Jesus will bring salvation to those we are praying for. And that's why intercessory prayer, praying for others, when we pray for others, be ready to offer some pain, some suffering for their sake. Offer it with the cross of Jesus that they may be saved, they may be healed. We have to bear the cross. This world is the valley of tears. But then, where do we place our cross, our crosses, our pains? On the right side of Jesus, of the cross of Jesus, or on the left side? The left side thief was blaspheming, blaming, challenging Jesus in utter pain and agony. He died a cursed death. The right side thief he 
turn to Jesus remember me offering his agony to Jesus and Jesus said you shall be with me in paradise today in the moments of our pain in the moments of our problems and struggles when we turn to the lord remember me we will hear the voice you shall be with me in paradise today every suffering offered to the crucified lord will bring us the paradise experience and that is the mystery of christian discipleship amen let us affirm our faith in the lord let's continue to affirm this faith even in the moments of our sufferings our struggles let us confess together i believe in god the father, father almighty, almighty creator of heaven and earth and, and in jesus, jesus christ, christ his only son our lord who was conceived by the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of god the father almighty from there he will come to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and life everlasting amen let us bring to this altar to offer to raise up with the bread and wine everything of our life every need every pain every struggle after every invocation we may respond lord hear our prayer lord hear our prayer jesus you are the crucified lord every moment when we are in pain when we are in need when we are suffering let's be able to turn to you give us the grace to turn to you and find our comfort in you we pray to you o lord lord hear our prayer the humanity today lord the humanity is so loved you offered your life for on the cross the humanity is now in distress the human kind is in a terrible turmoil have mercy intervene lord let us experience the power of your mercy by striking this pandemic we pray to you o lord lord hear our prayer give us the grace and graciousness to wait in prayer to offer to you everything going wrong with our life give us the patience to wait for you to intervene into our life without complaining without grudging anyone but praising you for your love we pray to you o lord lord hear our prayer we pray for the church the holy father pope francis our bishop malcolm cardinal ranchit all the bishops and priests and religious and lay leaders that the mystery of the cross may be proclaimed from the house tops that no one may ever slip into anger hatred and despair we pray to you o lord Lord hear our prayer God increase our faith especially when our faith is tested especially when we don't understand especially when things do not fall in line with our plans that we may turn to you believe in your love and be witnesses 
to your compassion. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor on our supplications O Lord and in your kindness accept these your servants offerings that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever, may our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. The font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, 
he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church. spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope malcolm our bishop all the bishops priests religious lay leaders in the church everywhere remember all our brothers and sisters who are sick who are struggling in life remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed apostles saint joseph with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son Jesus Christ through him and with him and in him O God almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever the confidence of the children the love of our heavenly father but soul pray to him in the words our savior taught us our father who Lord art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done on, on earth as it is in heaven give, give us this day our daily, daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we, we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us And lead, and lead us not, not into, into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the, the kingdom, kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be always with you And, and with your spirit let's offer each other a sign of peace lamb of god you, you take, take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you, you take, take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world grant us peace behold the lamb of god Behold him who takes away the sins of the world 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, roof but only say the word, and my, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's go in the peace and joy of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus, to be like Jesus, all I ask, to be like Him, all through life journey, from earth to glory, all I ask, to be like Him. Jesus, to be like Jesus.